What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Halloween ends in this video here again today, talking about a connection it shares with Halloween H2O. If this plot thread of what many people think is going to occur based off of, you know, picking apart that teaser we've gotten and going off of the synopsis, if this plot thread of a copycat killer with Corey Cunningham actually comes to fruition and ends up being true when Halloween ends is released in a couple more weeks in October, this will be something that you could argue was borrowed from an original idea related to Halloween 7, Halloween H2O, before Jamie Lee Curtis had even signed on to the project, if I'm remembering this correctly. Uh, the actor who played Charlie in Halloween H2O, Adam Bird, I believe his name is, at one point in a draft, he was penciled in. Many of you might be aware of this. Many of you, this might be new knowledge to you. He was penciled in to actually be portraying Michael Myers in the sense that the Michael Myers you found out was going around doing the killing was not Michael Myers. It was him. What was going to happen at the same time as that was that the real Michael Myers would have shown up at the end of the movie and they would have had some type of brawl, I guess, where I guess it would have come off like Michael didn't take too kindly to this teenager going around pretending to be him and doing these killings. And I think the narrative they were trying to go for there was, I guess, he was obsessed with Michael Myers. And again, this is Charlie, Charlie from Halloween H2O, who ended up just being like this horny best friend character type. Uh, at one point in another draft, his character was going to be the copycat killer running around doing the killings before the real Michael Myers showed up at the end of the movie. That is, again, something that is very similar in a lot of ways to what they are possibly about to do with Halloween Ends. So that's where people could easily argue that they borrowed some ideas from a scrap draft. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, again, find it how find it interesting when you come across little small details like this that they're bringing this idea to fruition potentially but also tweaking it in a lot of ways because when we're with respect to what halloween h2o could have ended up like going off of what adam bird has said in an interview a couple years ago this is from halloween uh halloween daily news i'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to read up on this interview it's from like 2014 he said that charlie was a bad guy he was a copycat killer who was copying michael myers and wreaking havoc at the boarding school then of course in the end the real michael myers comes home and exacts revenge upon him so he says he was totally pumped about it because i've always wanted to play a villain and i've always been a fan of the halloween movies i was very excited but then of course you know that got changed Jamie Lee Curtis was brought in Kevin Williamson was brought on at one point too but then we know we got the movie in the final draft that we know we got uh and I'm not surprised they tried to do something like that then going off of the success of Halloween or not Halloween coming out of the success of Scream in 1996 just a couple years prior and what's even funnier about that now is you just got a Scream movie and if they are going into a copycat route with Halloween ends, it's funny how Scream is once again tied into this somewhere with this history potentially being repeated later this October. Not being repeated, but actually happening this time. Because again, they scrapped this idea for Halloween H2O. But the differences here between that and Halloween ends, so far from what I can gather and assume, is that glimpses of the trailer indicate there may be something that happens midway through the movie that connects Michael and Corey Cunningham before Corey Cunningham starts doing these killings dressed as Michael Myers. Something where he gets snatched up by or snatched up by his neck. I know you've seen it in the teaser. If you've seen the teaser, you know what I'm talking about. There's a glimpse of Corey in the sewer. Somebody's clearly snatching him up. The only logical person that this could be, it can be anyone else. But the most logical assumption is that was Michael Myers snatching this boy up like that. They might develop some sort of relationship from there on out. And then he decides to, you know, I'm going to take your mask and I'm going to go to Haddonfield and I'm going to kill this person. I'm going to kill that person. Michael will follow the boy and then he will take his mask back because that's the only reason he might return to town. Just because the boy stole his mask and he wants his mask back. The difference there is that there's a connection there. But with the H2O stuff, seems like Charlie, Charlie again, he he wasn't going to develop a relationship it was just going to be him going around copying michael myers and then michael would show up there's going to be there's going to be a feud that they had or just some type of standoff i guess that they had where charlie of course probably ultimately would have died and another thing that's funny here is how you know the glimpses of copycat stuff 
they've kind of been teased in previous Halloween movies. The ending of H2O, when we learn in Resurrection that that wasn't Michael. Some, he had swapped clothes with a paramedic. So they were already kind of, you know, nodding to that scrapped idea there. And then another nod to something maybe you could say in Resurrection when Michael Myers is having a standoff or a little uh, unnecessary comedic scene with Buster Rhymes dressed as Michael Myers going around being a copycat, but for the sake of a broadcast on this uh, show he had, Dangertainment. So they, they've been nodding to this in the series before about this scrapped idea. If this idea is actually coming to fruition now from this new team, it's again just kind of funny how this idea has already been nodded to multiple times in the past, whether you picked up on it or not. But as far as like the fact that they might be borrowing from Halloween H2O, I just thought that was an interesting thing to, to stumble across. I know Beyond the Mass did a video recently talking about the the trilogy that Kevin Williamson had had planned or had in mind and how, of course, we know Halloween H2O was at one point going to, of course, tie itself into the events of four, five and six. But we ultimately didn't get that. It was the first attempt at creating this new rebooted timeline. And now we have that movie and now going out of that scrapped copycat idea. It's now being revisited potentially in Halloween ends. So we'll see how it ends up going down the Corey cunningham stuff i know has a lot of people just like i don't want to see that i'd rather you center the movie on laurie strode i'm in the boat of preferring to see the movie centered on laurie strode you've given her reasons to carry the movie but then you turn on the next movie after kills and she's not carrying the bulk of the movie it's Corey cunningham it's like why i mean we're gonna find out why when when the movie comes out and we're gonna see if it's executed well because that's what ultimately is going to determine if it's good or not if it's executed well or not it's just that on paper it sounds bad to a lot of people and i can see why because it doesn't sound that good to me either but we'll see what happens if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and this video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.